Okay, one second turnover. I want to say this before I forget it. Because with all the stress going around these days, I'm liable to fucking forget it. A long ass fucking time ago, but not in a town called Kickapoo. There was me at school, high school. And the seniors, when I was a freshman, they all got together and I don't remember if it was actually the seniors or the juniors. Fuck it, that's irrelevant. They all got together and they bought me a pair of, um, what brand was it? Back in 2008. Back in the early 2000s. Like the, the first decade of 2000. 2007, 2008. I don't remember exactly which. They all bought me a pair of running shoes. Because I used to blintz through the, the hallway and there would be nothing but a a me shaped blur so they all got together and and they did the uh, the keep him running foundation and, and they got me a pair of running shoes and they were fantastic and I wore them the fuck apart I enjoyed them so much I ran so much that they fell apart but I was glad that they did that for me <clears throat> Still am, actually. That was nice. Yeah, most stereotypically, people who go to high school, and they're like, oh yeah, as a freshman, I was bullied. No. Not me. Well, everyone else was my friend, basically. Yeah, some of the teachers, too. Yeah, I like my biology teacher. That was fun. I enjoyed that class. That was really nice. Anyway, these fellas who got together and got me a pair of running shoes. Yeah, shit. I would love to fucking make a video and, and thanking them in person. You know, give a handshake, give a fucking hug. Fuck social distancing. If you're gonna catch a disease, you're gonna catch a fucking disease. If it's gonna kill you, it's gonna fucking kill you. No sense in fucking uh, being a safety bitch inside of a fucking bubble, YOLO and such. So, you know, live life to the fullest. My uncle had fucking AIDS, I still hugged him. And I'm AIDS negative, I'm HIV negative. I don't have fucking diseases just from hugging people. Stop being a scared little pussy, okay, everyone? Yeah, fuck you. Now back onto the topic of this video, which is thanking the people who bought me a pair of running shoes in high school. Actually met one of the fellows several years after the facts, after the, the truth of the matter had occurred. And what I told him was, you know, I never imagined I would get to meet you, any of you guys ever again. And his response was, fuck you. Now, he may have interpreted what I said in the wrong context. And most definitely, I believe he did. Because I definitely wanted to thank those guys for what they did. And I thought that they had moved on with their lives and I was never going to see them again because they moved to another state or, uh, you know, they forgot it that I existed or, um, you know, they put that high school chapter of the life behind them and they've got a new chapter of the life going on. I figured they moved on with their lives. Yeah, I'll never see them again, but if I get to meet any of them, it'd be nice to thank them, give them a hug, handshake, you know, that sort of thing. <clears throat> So the, the context for me telling him those words was, honestly, I never imagined I would get to meet you guys again. 
I thought you'd all moved on and, and gone elsewhere. He probably interpreted it as, you know, fuck you guys. I never wanted to see you again, which is a major bummer. So, big reveal time. The, the local high school, Chelsea, in Alabama. If any of you fuckers are out there that uh, bought me a pair of running shoes, just know that fuck social dist distancing, I'd give you a handshake or a hug just because I appreciated it that much. And for you one particular fellow who thought I was, um, who, who, who it misinterpreted my words, know this. I didn't mean any malice by it. I just honestly believed you guys had moved the fuck on with your lives. And for everyone else watching, enjoy the drama that has just unfolded before you that is known as a YouTube vlog. Now, if you enjoyed the story, do let me know by clicking the like button. If not, then click the dislike button or not click either at all. If you enjoy, you know, other dumb shit that I do, then subscribe, turn on the notifications, and definitely use the links in the description to support my addiction to caffeine and alcohol. And let me, that'll let me know you know, once you join on Patreon or, or throw some fallacy money my way on PayPal for one-time lump sums, that'll let me know that you definitely want to see me get drunk and do dumb shit in video games or whatever else, you know? Just, you know, the, the sort of fucking world's your oyster type deal. Only you're supporting my horrible addiction while I do dumb shit that's entertaining. Yeah. Well, until next time, fuck off.